What if I told you that a $30 million Swedish jet might be outsmarting the most expensive warplane in history? The F-35 Lightning II is America's crown jewel, stealthy, high-tech, and loaded with firepower. But Sweden's Gripen, a sleek, agile, and insanely cost-effective fighter, is quietly winning battles, not in dogfights, but in logic. While the U.S. spends over $100 million per jet, Sweden built the Gripen for a fraction of that. It can take off from highways, be serviced by a team of five, and be fully combat ready in minutes. And here's the real twist. Some air forces around the world are turning down the F-35 for the Gripen. So what's going on? Is the Gripen actually the smarter choice in today's world of modern warfare? Stick around because this is a story of brains versus budget, and the answer might surprise you. The F-35 Lightning II isn't just a fighter jet, it's a flying supercomputer. Developed by Lockheed Martin, this fifth-generation stealth aircraft was designed to dominate the skies with unmatched sensors, radar-absorbing coating, and data fusion capabilities. On paper, it's the most advanced multi-role fighter ever built. But here's the catch. It comes at an astronomical cost. Each F-35 can exceed $100 million, depending on the variant. And that's before factoring in its lifetime maintenance, upgrades, and operating expenses. It's not just a jet, it's an investment in an entire ecosystem of infrastructure, logistics, and specialized training. Critics argue that the F-35 program has been plagued by delays, software bugs, and cost overruns. Even within the U.S. military, some branches have raised concerns about readiness rates and the complexity of sustaining such an advanced platform in high-intensity, prolonged operations. So the big question is, are we paying for performance or for perfection that's too complex to maintain in real war conditions? That's where Sweden's Gripen enters the conversation with a very different philosophy. While the US was pouring billions into a stealth heavy future, Sweden took a radically different path. The result, the JAS-39 Gripen, a multi-role fighter designed not just to win wars, but to do so smartly, affordably, and on Sweden's own terms. Developed by Saab, the Gripen was built for a nation with limited resources but serious defense needs. Sweden needed a jet that could operate from short runways, even highways, with minimal logistics and fast turnaround. And that's exactly what they got. The Gripen can be refueled, rearmed, and back in the air in just 10 minutes by a crew of five conscripts. But don't let its simplicity fool you. The Gripen is packed with cutting edge avionics, electronic warfare systems, and a data link system so advanced that it rivaled NATO tech long before integration. Plus, with its modular design, Sweden can rapidly upgrade software and hardware without waiting on foreign contractors. This wasn't just engineering, it was strategy. While other nations were locked into expensive long-term contracts, Sweden maintained independence, affordability, and full control of its fighter fleet. It's fast, it's lethal, and it's built for the harsh reality of 21st century combat. Now let's put these two jets head to head. On paper, the F-35 dominates. It's a true stealth aircraft, practically invisible to radar, with the ability to strike targets before they're even seen. Its advanced sensors and fusion systems give pilots a 360-degree battlefield view, and its weapon loadout is built for both air superiority and ground attack missions. But here's where the Gripen starts flipping the script. While it doesn't have full stealth, the Gripen-E features an advanced electronic warfare suite 
that can jam enemy radars, spoof missiles, and survive in heavily contested environments. In some situations, that's just as good, if not better, than pure stealth. Speed, the Gripen can hit Mach 2. Maneuverability, it's light, nimble, and designed for dogfights. And unlike the F-35, it's not reliant on massive air bases. Gripens can operate from highways, refuel in minutes, and fly more sorties per day, an advantage in any real-world combat scenario. Then there's the Datalink Tech. Gripen pilots can share target information in real time, coordinate strikes, and fly as a seamless digital team, much like the F-35's networked concept. But while the F-35 locks buyers into the U.S. supply chain, the Gripen gives nations freedom and control over their upgrades and systems. So yes, the F-35 may be a technological titan, but the Gripen? It's a scrappy, flexible, and deadly smart alternative that delivers 80% of the capability for a fraction of the cost. Air superiority isn't just about having the flashiest jet, it's about having enough of them, keeping them flying, and deploying them effectively when it counts. And that's where cost becomes a battlefield of its own. The F-35 might be a high-tech marvel, but it demands a heavy support system, specialized maintenance crews, expensive spare parts, and complex software management. Each flight hour can cost over $40,000. That means fewer flights, more downtime, and a constant drain on defense budgets. The Gripen, on the other hand, was engineered for efficiency. It's one of the cheapest modern fighters to operate, less than half the cost per hour compared to the F-35. And that translates into more airtime, faster response, and lower long-term costs for air forces that can't afford to gamble everything on one platform. In wartime, logistics win battles. If you can't keep your jets in the air, all the tech in the world means nothing. The Gripen's design allows for rapid deployment, road base operations, and low maintenance turnarounds. It was built for flexibility, not just luxury. So while the F-35 might bring unmatched capabilities to the battlefield, it also brings unmatched price tags and complexity. Gripen proves that in today's world, air superiority might not go to the jet with the best specs but to the one that's always ready to fly. When nations choose a fighter jet, it's more than a military decision. It's a political and strategic alignment. And right now, countries around the world are facing the same dilemma. Do they go all in on the elite but expensive F-35 or opt for the smart, versatile Gripen? Some, like Finland and Switzerland, went with the F-35, valuing long-term integration with NATO and cutting-edge stealth capabilities. But others, like Brazil and the Czech Republic, are placing their bets on the Gripen, drawn to its affordability, independence, and impressive performance. South Africa was an early adopter. Brazil not only bought the Gripen, but also partnered with Saab to manufacture it locally gaining access to valuable technology and jobs. Even India, long a buyer of Russian jets, has shown interest in what the Gripen offers. Full tech transfer, low operating costs, and adaptability to local conditions. And here's the key point. Countries choosing the Gripen aren't sacrificing capability. They're making a calculated choice to avoid being locked into US supply chains or expensive upgrade pass. The Gripen offers them a fighter that's good enough to compete and smart enough to sustain. So, F-35 or Gripen? Superpower stealth or strategic smartness? The answer isn't as clear-cut as you might think. 
If you're a nation like the US or China, looking to dominate every domain of warfare with unmatched technology, the F-35 is your go-to platform. It's a force multiplier, a flying command center, and a stealth hunter all in one. But for countries that need a reliable, fast deploying, cost-effective fighter that punches above its weight, the Gripen is hard to ignore. It's the underdog that refuses to be underestimated. In a world where defense budgets are tightening and conflicts can erupt unexpectedly, the Gripen offers something the F-35 doesn't, sustainability and flexibility. It might not be the flashiest, it might not have full stealth, but it's always ready. And sometimes the smartest choice isn't the most powerful, it's the most practical. In that sense, Sweden's Gripen may not just be a fighter jet, it might be the future of smart air power.